Hi there, Cancer, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of January 1st through to the 7th, 2024. Happy New Year to all of you. I hope 2024 is going to be very good to you. <laughs> I already shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. First up is Major Arcana, the Death card, followed then by Major Arcana, Judgment in the upright. Next, we have the Two of Wands upright, followed then by the Knight of Wands. And lastly, Major Arcana, the World card. You have three Major Arcana in the spread. Whew. And they're heavy hitters too, wild stuff. Cancer, your overall energy is that of the big transformation. There is something transforming in your life this week. Um, no rest at all. It looks like you're just jumping into a major transformation. Now, when it comes to this energy, this can be either one of two things. Something has hit the end of a cycle, so it's either it needs to come to its natural end or it has to transform. There is no way it can be sustained as is. Now, for some of you, this could be representing a relationship perhaps that has just been going off the rails. It has not been working out well. So it's like something needs to be tweaked, adjusted, or, you know, try counseling or this or that. Something needs to change or the relationship may have to come to an end. The same thing could be um, for any uh, a friendship. It could be for a family relationship. It could be about any type of relationship. It can also represent um, a home situation, or sorry, a work situation where something needs to change or it needs to uh, be let go of. It could be there's something going on in your job. Maybe you're not making enough money, so you need to get a raise. That would be a transformation or a promotion or something. Um, if you can't get that, it's something needs to come to its natural end. The same thing could be like in the place where you live, your neighborhood. Maybe it's getting a little bit too much and it's like uh, something needs to change here or I need to move. It could be on any of those fronts. Remember, this is just a general read, so just take what makes sense in your scenario. So right at the beginning of the week, you have the judgment in the upright position. There's going to be a need to make a judgment call here. Now, it could be on whatever is going on with the big transformation, but it could be a separate energy altogether, though. The judgment is generally about a resurrection, something we thought was done and dusted may be coming back up again for review. Now, this could be an old relationship. It could be an old friendship. It could be a job that you used to work at or a company you used to work for. Perhaps you're noticing that they're hiring again and maybe they've even pursued you. It's something you will have to make a judgment call on whether or not to go for it. Same thing could be an old relationship. Maybe somebody wants to start up again, but you get to make the call. You have free will. You get to say yes or no. You can sometimes, sometimes people will use these opportunities as a closure moment and, you know, have the talk and then that's the end of it. So, Whatever you're going to do, that's that's in your hands. Others of you, if you're particularly uh, spiritual, this could represent um, a spiritual awakening, an aha moment where you suddenly see things in a new light. The next card you have is the two of wands in the upright position. Well, this is one foot in the past, one foot in the future, trying to figure out what to do next. Um, looks like you're at some kind of crossroads here with, with these cards so far, Cancer. This energy is one foot in the past, one foot in the future, but it looks like this entity here is ready to move on, is just sort of more focused in on what's ahead than what is behind them. So I think you're really seriously contemplating, some of you could be contemplating a move, a house move, maybe moving out of uh, the city, you could be looking to move to another state, you could be looking to move across town or move to another country altogether. Others of you, uh, maybe it's just a work situation. You're ready to leave that behind. Um, maybe ready to retire and go travel the world. Or maybe you're interested in careers that are in other places other than where you live. The next card you have moving on towards the weekend, we have the Knight of, Knight of Wands, good old pajama man, 
in the upright position. It is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, and this is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Knight of Wands usually brings in some type of offer. It could be for some of you, say, for example, if a relationship is coming to an end, there could be someone new on the horizon who is pursuing you or somebody you're interested in. They could be making a very passionate move towards you. For others of you, if this is the end of a career or a job situation, it could be that there is another offer coming on the table towards you. Again, wands can indicate travel too. So it could be that the offer that's being extended to you could be at a place that's different from where you actually reside or live right now. It's fun. It's exciting. It could just simply indicate to an offer to travel or to have some fun and adventure because that's what the wands are also about too. And the last card you have, Major Arcana, is the world. This is the last card in the in the tarot deck and this represents a wrap-up. I call it the um, graduation card. This is where we're sort of we've come to the end of a road with something. This is where something is closing out now. So it does it is starting to look more and more like there will be a closing out of something. Sometimes this can indicate um, retirement for those of you maybe, or just letting go of a career that you've had that's been a part of your life for a few years. And this is like, no, I'm gonna move on to a different career. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna travel the world. I'm gonna, you look at it in the Two of Wands is holding the globe and then this is about, you know, potentially world travel or traveling someplace at a distance, at a far distance. Others of you, you could be literally graduating from a study or something that you've been doing and perhaps this is a job offer that's coming in. Um, for others of you, this can indicate the final divorce papers being signed, can be, you know, letting go of a home that you've owned for many years. This is the family home, perhaps you're selling it and downsizing. So whatever's going on here, it's a big, big uh, week for you. You come into 2024 like gangbusters here, ready to uh, make some massive changes. That's what it looks like. We want to hear from you in the comment section below. In the meantime, have a wonderful 2024. And I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, uh, share, and subscribe. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye for now.